My name is Jonathan Jesse, practice principal with ITS. Uh, below is my email address and my phone number. Feel free to shoot me an email, give me a call. I'd love to chat with you about Symantec, DLP, Workflow, uh, or any of the other security products that Symantec has. So, what we're going to talk about here, uh, before I skip to that slide, kind of the agenda, um, we're going to talk about the problem, we're going to talk about the solution that I'm proposing through the Symantec DLP and Workflow product, and then also the process behind uh, that product. So, um, the problem, right? We're talking about data that is at rest, data that is stored at either a file server or an endpoint. And a lot of that data can be stored on file servers, right? So I'll show you real quick in my demo environment, I have like 75 different files that have problems. How would I go about remediating those? A lot of data times the number of endpoints or my file servers, uh, potential insurmountable number of incidences. Um, working with a customer and we kicked off a, a data at rest scan and we had over 10,000 files that had problems. How do you go about in remediating those? Uh, do your DLP and al analysts uh, spend all of their time remediating their files? And pretty soon all I'm doing is, is cleaning up files or, or um, and I get lost in the incidences. Um, where do I start when with remediating and cleaning up those those end users? Uh, the solution that I'm going to propose is I'm going to propose um, that we can allow the end user to self remediate with problems. So, as mentioned earlier, in my demo environment, quick run with two scans had you know 60 some odd problems, um, and how do I remediate those files? question that you should ask yourself is if I'm using DLP and network discover what does my environment look like right do I have thousands of incidences hundreds of incidences have I skipped shares because I have too many problems where does what does my system or my environment look like and more importantly how do I start do I start sending emails out how do I automate that in a way that we can uh, repeatedly uh, clean up those files and get my numbers down. So what products am I going to use? So two products uh, in this demo, um, the Symantec DLP 11 platform um, and in that we're going to use the Enforce Management Council and then also Endpoint Discover and or uh, Network Discover and then on top of that we're going to use the Symantec Workflow Solution. So if you are a current owner of a uh, Symantec product, whether that's DLP or Altiris, you are entitled for the Symantec workflow solution. So we'll talk briefly about that. We'll talk about um, how we can go about remediating those uh, and what's going on. So this DLP remediation console is created by Symantec and it is out there for you to use. Uh, this allows us to uh, do a bunch of configuration and then automate that um, notification of uh, our incidences have been resolved and cleaned up. Talk through the process here. So I've scheduled a network discover or an endpoint discover scan. That scan hits my file servers or my endpoints and finds the confidential data. It shows that you know Jonathan on his file share has you know a hundred plus documents that, are, that need to be cleaned up and resolved, and all of that then needs to be remediated. So the DLP system finds that confidential data based on a policy, um, and it creates and generates an incident within the Enforce platform. An email is generated to the owner of that file with a link, and that link is going to kick you off to the DLP. Uh, remediation console um, as we called it and then from there um, I can remediate that file either uh, three ways one I can leverage the quarantine process in um, uh, network protect or endpoint prevent and move those files over I can actually physically reach out to that file server with my credentials delete that file the third option is if I was using a product like Semantic Guardian Edge or um, Semantic PGP to encrypt that file and uh, um, apply encryption because I need to keep that file. So, 
so as mentioned, right, I have the uh, my DLP system up and running. Uh, this is um, my demo environment, right? And what I have done is I have kicked off some discover scans in the past using some demo data, right? And you can see that I have uh, some credit card information, some social security number information, all kinds of lovely violations here in the system. So I'm gonna discover scan and I've got this little email. Now we can customize the text here to include more information about what's happening. Uh, we can configure things um, uh, and customize that uh, that text to uh, to do it. But long and short of it, I get notified that I have um, files that need to be remediated. Now, my files have already been cleaned up, so if it's blank, that's why. But uh, let me go ahead and click this link and to start the kind of the process happening in the background. What this is presenting is it's presenting the files that I need to remediate. So it is populating automatically uh, my username, right? So I have access to view only my files. Um, if I was flagged as an administrator of the system, I could actually view uh, files for other users and I would be presented with the drop down link of all of the users that have information. Um, as I've already deleted these files, I don't have anything showing up. I was just doing some testing, forgot to recreate these files, so that's why they're gone already. Uh, but it would tell me the detection date, the policy that was violated, and then also the file path and name um, of what's going on. Now, because I am not leveraging the endpoint encryption product or any of the semantic encryption products, I don't have that file path or that option to mark for for encryption down here at the bottom. Uh, but I would highlight this file, I would mark for deletion, and it would go out and process that deletion and actually do a cleanup for that file. Uh, at this point, my, my work here is done. Uh, we can build in notifications, we can build in additional information to update or resolve the incident. Um, th there's some, some back-end scripts that we can do to change the actual status of that incident within the DLP console, um, but those files would then be remediated and cleaned up. So once again, my semantic DLP scan runs, the network discover runs, I'm notified of a link, that link prompts me to this web page where it lists my files and I can mark for quarantine and mark for deletion or not. Within the workflow product, we can even build escalations or notifications. We can say like, hey, Jonathan hasn't cleaned up his files. Please reach out to my manager, Billy. And uh, Billy then gets notified that Jonathan hasn't updated his, his or cleaned up his files. All kinds of fun things that we can do within the uh, semantic workflow product. So now I'm going to flip screens here. So hopefully uh, everything stays with me for a minute. And uh, we'll actually take a look at what's going on within the DLP system, uh, the, the workflow itself. So, for those of you that haven't looked at DLP, or sorry, at workflow before, uh, workflow is really business process automation, right? It's taking the uh, things that are boring, are repetitive, and automating that for me. Um, this workflow is available through Symantec. It's not something that ITS has created. It is something that the business uh, workflow business practice group has created. Um, and it allows me to then um, uh, walk through creating my, my, my project and everything. So let's kind of talk our way through, right? Everything in workflow has a start and an end. We can see here, let me zoom out a little bit. Everything, excuse me, is walking through this process, right? When I um, when I connect to my web form, it's going to get all of the instances by my um, owner. It is going to list those files. It's going to update that file owner, and then based on the items that I have here, I can either encrypt, delete, or quarantine those items. So this is presenting all of the process that that we saw in that web form. Um, and it's laid out and allows me to customize those information. I can come in and edit these and I can make this customized for my own environment. Maybe I have um, particular uh, logos or screenshots or maybe I have a theme that I want to prepare, uh, apply. All kinds of stuff that I can get in to customize 
and build this for my own environment. I'm not going to save any changes because I haven't made anything here. All right, so delete the selected files, right? We can actually see exactly what's happening, and, and this is editing in that, um, that deletion. It's creating these, these web forms for me. It is working through the process. A couple of other items that I want to show within this, um, within this workflow is that we both have a testing uh, wizard that verifies that we have things set up and we also have um, a setup wizard that will walk us through once we get this product installed. Uh, as you can see I already have the DLP system installed and configured so I can't uh, build this information out but um, you can see how I can set up in those tests those settings and I can also then uh, execute several tests test that I'm connected to email and have everything set up, test my database to retrieve incidences from those databases and to uh, update those run skins. This is all test data, verifies my connection is, is correct, and then also the error notification. The uh, flip screens again here real quick, so hope you don't mind. Um, the other thing I want to talk about real quick as my session times out is we have all of these properties within the workflow system that we can come back and edit and change once we um, once we have everything configured and set up. So you see a couple of items here that we would have to customize for our environment. Um, the council, our, our mail server, our quarantine information, um, the, the connection back to our database, um, all of those, all of this information here, um, we can customize once the system has been scanned and set up. Once again, the beauty of a workflow like this is that it allows us to automatically remediate. I'm sorry, let me back up. It allows our end users to remediate um, DLP incidents found through either Network Discover or, or Endpoint Discover. So let me re-back up to my slides. All right, once again, automation, right? Endpoint discover or network discover runs. An incident is created. The owner of that file then is allowed to remediate that automatically, freeing up my analysts or the people in charge of my DLP system to um, focus on DLP, focus on managing those incidents, treating those incidences as well. That's all I got today, so I want to thank you for spending your time with me. Thank you for uh, joining. Have a great day.